Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. My fellow Americans, today I stand before you with a sense of pride and gratitude as we celebrate a monumental victory in the Pacific. Our brave servicemen and women, with unwavering determination and sacrifice, have successfully brought an end to the aggression of the Empire of Japan. Their commitment to defending our values and preserving freedom has proven unparalleled. However, while we rejoice in this triumph, we must acknowledge that a great challenge still exists in Europe. Our nation has made the difficult decision to prioritize our efforts in the Pacific, and as a result, we have not directly engaged with Nazi Germany. The situation in Europe remains a grave concern, and we must carefully consider our next step. In this moment, it is essential for us to reflect on our principles and evaluate how we can best contribute to a world free from tyranny and oppression. Our commitment to liberty and justice extends beyond our own borders, and we must consider how we can support our allies in Europe who are facing the menace of Nazi aggression. Today, I call upon the American people to join me in reaffirming our commitment to global peace and stability. We shall engage in diplomatic efforts, working with our allies to find peaceful resolutions to the conflicts that plague Europe. Our aim is to ensure the safety and security of all nations, promoting democracy and human rights as we move forward. We will lend our support to those who resist tyranny and oppression, providing assistance and resources where needed. Our nation will stand firm in our conviction that freedom and justice must prevail, even if our path forward differs from that of direct military engagement. It is my belief that by standing united and working together with our international partners, we can contribute to a future where all nations can prosper in peace. The world is watching and history will judge us, not just by our victories, but also by the principles we uphold. May God bless our great nation, and may we continue to be a beacon of hope and freedom to all. Thank you, and God bless America. <laughs>